right? Yes, yes. So um, the question is, there's a group of demethylases that can take off the methyl group, that become active and take it off of this gene. And um, they're, active by they're activated by inflammation. So what I'm wondering is, is anyone looking at, obviously these methyl groups are changing, and so the enzymes that are pulling off methyl groups and the demethylases, the enzymes that are putting them on there, methyltransferases, yes. Yes. they must be doing something yeah, there's, and yes, and people are looking changing, at it. Yeah, they, I mean, what's uh, changing those yeah. enzymes? Like, <laughs> is there a signal there, or is it a gene? Is it genetic control, or yes. what is it? Yes, you know that can change. Yeah, um, you make very good points. So, <laughs> if you want to understand the epigenetic clock clearly, you start with so-called DNA methyl transferases, so these TET enzymes. Why? Because they, um, on the one hand, add methyl groups or remove methyl groups. So that's a low-hanging fruit, and um, just recently, we and others, uh, several groups, have actually found no doubt these, um, when you interfere with these enzymes, you affect epigenetic age. There are very exciting um, findings where people studied um, certain developmental disorders where, where mutations deactivated a DNA um, a methyl, um, uh, methyl transferase or a mutation um, rendered it overactive, you know. And sure enough, all of these mutations in humans, you know, um, affect epigenetic age. And um, so at that level, we know it has an effect, as expected. And the effect is pronounced. It could, add fi it could add five or ten years to a person or, or the opposite, you know. Um, and does that so correlate with the lifespan of what of See, the we don't know exactly. That's a question. So the, uh, some of these children have a developmental disorder and um, there's various syndromes, you know. Oh. So, and um, um, so I, I want uh, one is so-called SOTOS syndrome. And um, anyways, um, and, and so in, we see strong deviations in blood in both directions, plus five years, minus five years. So at that level, um, um, it's all confirmed. Plus, we right now have, um, um, we do mouse crosses, you know, where we um, um, uh, knock out these DNA methyl transferases and just to very carefully study it in a very controlled setting. But I can already tell you, you'll find strong effects. Now, this, but the question you really ask is, well, on this an upstream of those, you know, <laughs> what regulates the clockwork, um, you know, which, what tells the DNA methyl transferase go to this location, you know, and oh. deposit uh, and work your magic, you know. Right. And th that's where we don't have an understanding right. yet.